Alex Higgins appearing for the fourth time in this particular final. He won it in 1978 by defeating Cliff Thorburn in the final. In 79, he was runner-up to South African champion Perry Munns, and last year came second to the defending title holder, Terry Griffiths. His opponent today, and there is Terry. A repeat then of last year's final when Terry had victory at nine frames to five. The press photographers taking the pictures in front of the two players, the magnificent gold trophy that goes to the winner together with a cheque for £6,000. The runner-up to receive £3,000. Total prize money at this particular tournament, some £20,000. Added to that, should there be a maximum break of 147, there is a further £10,000 for that effort. The players shake hands, the referee does the same, and we're all set for the first of 17 frames. Alex had a miraculous recovery against world champion Cliff Thorburn, being five frames to one down, and then taking the last five frames to win the particular semi-final, put himself in this final for the fourth consecutive year. In winning this title last year, Terry Griffiths here also collected the gold award for the highest break, a magnificent 131. That, of course, is available again this year together with a cheque for £250. And at this moment, world champion Cliff Thorburn is holding it with a break of 102. safety continues as they jockey for position. Not an easy one for Alex here. Don't think he can get the cue ball back down to the ball end. Just sufficient strength. 
to drop in the pocket and give four points away. Well, of course, that was one way of getting the cue ball down to the ball, Ken Ted, I suppose. <laughs> yes, I'd agree with that, John. surely gives an opportunity to the Irishman. One red onto the other. Snag is, of course, he needs the half butt and uh, that's not so easy. And of course has to get on the black, which is uh, also a further problem. Just overrun. I think he can get through there for the black. One. Or can he? Well, he obviously can't. Slight let off then for Terry. <coughs> Terry uh, Griffiths was yesterday wearing his lucky red shirt. Proved lucky for him, for he was trailing five frames to two against John Spencer and came out the Victor at six frames to five after a very long session. I think we can see a break here, John. Certainly the best opportunity of the frame so far. Red's nicely split. Eight. Nine. Red's at the top, of course, hampering uh, the black. It will only go into one corner pocket. That's still a good opportunity. Forty 
Seven. Still seven reds to go. Sixty-two. Quite an extraordinary shot from Alex there, all set to clear the table, although the last three reds, very difficult on that top cushion. But sufficient, of course, to put Terry Griffiths here in trouble in this first of our 17 frames. He already requires snookers with only a possible 59 points on the table, trailing now by 72 points after Alex break. One. He's in the mood to be the first player. In the mood to be the first player to have his name twice on this Masters trophy. So far, in the six previous years, we've had a different winner each year. Both our finalists have already won the Masters tournament, so for the first time ever, we should see. One player with his name on the trophy twice. Right. certainly seems to have got his eye in straight away in this match. Hand side there, bringing the cue ball back up the table. 41. <laughs> the pink ball then very well fielded by one of our spectators here at Wembley Conference Centre as Alec forces the pink off the table but in just two visits to the table made a magnificent score of 110 points and in great form at the start of this particular final. Our referee, John Smythe, now setting up for our second frame and for the uninitiated, the black is the most expensive. It goes on the top spot, seven points. That is followed by the pink 
pink, six. In the center of the table is the blue, value five. And then down on the D, we have the brown in the center, four. On the right-hand side, as you look at your screen, the green is three. And on the left, the smallest valued ball on the table, the yellow, just two points.